Hi. Last week, we started talking about fake news and how challenging it can be to determine what's true and what's not true. I wish everything on the internet was true, eh, but it's not. Take a look at this commercial by State Farm. Oh, hey, Mike. Where do you have to? Uh, just diagramming this accident with my State Farm Pocket Agent app. Mm. You can also get a quote and pay your premium with this thing. I thought State Farm didn't have all those apps. Where'd you hear that? The internet. And you believed it? Yeah. They can't put anything on the internet that isn't true. Where'd you hear that? The, the internet. internet. Oh, look. Here comes my date. I met him on the internet. He's a French model. Uh, bonjour. State Farm. More. It's funny but it's not funny because the things that we believe are influence what we do, the way we respond, the way we act. And if we believe false information, we may get taken in. A friend of mine posted this image of dolphins in Venice last March. Apparently, after a couple of weeks of quarantine, the dolphins came back to the canals in Venice. It was really exciting. What would happen if we really cleaned up the environment? Well, unfortunately, this wasn't true. And some fact checking revealed that the dolphins never really left Venice. But my friend, who is very credible, got taken in because this is what she wanted to believe. Another friend posted this article onto Facebook. Trump said that hundreds of governors are calling him. We only have 50. Think about that. Take all the time you need. Well, if Trump thought there were hundreds of governors, that would be a problem. But the thing is, is he never said that. And so people who don't like Trump might have believed that, as my friend did, and people who did like Trump would say, oh, he never said that. It isn't about liking or not liking Trump. We should be asking, did he say that? In reality, the president said hundreds, the president said he'd gotten hundreds of messages from governors about the COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic. That's a big difference. In another case, Trump said that the army took over the airports during the Revolutionary War. True or false? In this particular case, it was true. Again, it's not a matter of being for Trump or being against Trump. It's about what he actually said. And we may be prone to believing things that affirm or confirm what we already think, as my friends were. Of course, that's just a president. Coronavirus misinformation can really confuse people. What do we do to keep from getting sick? Do we stay outside because I've heard that the cold weather can kill the virus. Do we stay outside because the fresh air can disperse it? Is it hot, cold? Do you wear a mask? Do you not wear a mask? We need real information, information we can trust. My mom sent a note um, not too long ago and she, her note claimed that Mask wearing reduces oxygen up to 60%, which can make me have carbon dioxide, dioxide poisoning. True or false? How do we find out? Again, there can be real consequences for getting the information right or wrong. So how do we know what's true? Better information leads to better decisions. And so we have to start by focusing on the source of the information.